Welcome back, fellow lizard people. Welcome back to the channel of Thunder Likes Rocks. I'm happy to see you here again. We are still in Evanhart. We are trying to um, solve the mystery of uh, someone who seemingly causes a lot of trouble, conspiracies, and unrest on the people of uh, Evanhart. Uh, not only the lizards, but also the Dunmere and the Nord. Now there seems to be some problem and some connection between all of this. They always mention the same name over and over. So now uh, our last station to take care of is um, three shrines, Vivek, Amalexia and Sotoseal to find out of, uh, what's going on with the guy that um, is unsure about his own fate. And that's our next session to do. Then the people of the Abanod Pack must stand together, otherwise they don't have a chance against the uh, Dominion invasion. But why a Dark Elf would uh, try to keep them apart like this? That's a kind of interesting question, I think. Let's see what we can do with this. We get runes. A lot of them. Is there anything new we can do? The rune business I still don't like. Punched ward, what's this? Punched globes of daedric energy for protection, granting a damage shield for you and your pets that absorbs 8000 damage for 6 seconds. Damage shield strength kept at 50% of your max health. I like this. I want to have a damage shield. Put it here, maybe. That's nice. Pile of awful. What do we have here? Hmm. Someone attracted the elite to the shrines, I feel. Kind of sort of seal, let's see. Servant of Sota Seal. Speak. Wow, you are rude. Sid was wants to know if the tribunal hears his prayers. All prayers are heard, not all are acknowledged. You are really nice for a servant of a god. Are you saying Sota Seal doesn't care? Every small cog drives a greater gear. Each is necessary, otherwise, the whole collapses. When any cog shivers from the stresses on it, the master feels it. But the load he assigns it is no more than he knows it can bear. Who is Sota Seal? Wizard, mystic, master of the clockwork city. An architect of time and a binder of oblivion. One who masters the tools that mastered others. Does this answer satisfy? It only leaves more questions. Good. Seek. Learn. When you are prepared, find the master. He will be interested to hear your conclusions. Will he? Will he do? What do think? So that's the shrine of Sota Seal. Let's take a look at this island before we uh, return to the other shrines. Much better kite. Stone Fang Isle. Interesting name. I just uh, blow my whistle for a second to get the experience buff renewed. Okay, this is just an aisle like this. Some stuff going on here. Trapdoor we can't go to. Ah, in the book. History of the Fighters Guild, part one. It's not that interesting for me. But it gives me a bit more stuff for the the Mage's Guild finally. So the Fighter's Guild, <laughs> knowledge about the Fighter's Guild gives us knowledge for the Mage's Guild. That's uh, an interesting thing. This, to my Aziz eggs. Sounds like an Agonia name. My son, Petal, I cannot meet you this evening. Father is beginning to suspect and uh, he would never forgive me if he found out. I will try to come again next mid -us. Until then, my love, you are la Lalisi dress. Lalisi dress is in love with an Argonian? 
That's pretty interesting. I wonder how it works though. I mean, the Gonians lay eggs. Uh, so, I mean, I guess they can never have kids, but uh, interesting anyway. But also, I see the problem for the father. I mean, a dress and, uh, and an Argonian that were former slaves. And the dress is the house that is really popular for enslaving. Ooh, that's an explosive uh, combination. We are still not using mounts much because we're still pretty much faster when we're walking. It's kind of sad, but uh, it's how it is. So we have two more shrines, Vivek and Amalexia, that we need to take care of. Living gods. Interesting concept of uh, belief, to be honest. Most people don't have living gods, I think. I don't think there's any religion with living gods, right? I mean, there are some temple religions. Rings with perhaps interesting name. There are some temple religions that have to do with uh, uh, having uh, sacred animals, and there are sometimes like, I think in a Hinduistic or in general, like uh, yeah, I'm not that expert in it, but I think in the Hinduistic area there is like something that there's like a living goddess that is like a child goddess, and she got uh, chosen from all of uh, from the charts of a specific place. And lives her first uh, years in a really, let's say, interesting way because she's not allowed to touch the ground. But I'm not that. Uh, I don't remember that good or that what kind of belief it was actually. These doors. No, I thought it's another book. Hmm. There's a lot of fish here. I can understand why there's a lot of people fishing. Makes totally sense to me. I wouldn't be patient enough to go fishing. I don't know. I don't know who I am, and I'm not a patient Take fish. Pride in your fisher. Work, I say. Yeah, that's great. That's a great idea. Drinking, fishing. That's like a fun life. The other shrines were outside on the sides of the city. I wonder why they put the shrines so weirdly outside. If you're um, praying to your living gods, wouldn't it make more sense if you have the shrines closed so that the people that are supposed to pray to them uh, have it easier to get to it? Like uh, getting outside like this, other way to the shrine. I don't know how many people do this actually, but ah, but then again, you have the temple, so I kind of well played the. Uh, Shrines in all of this, like is the temple, so the shrine's more important and how exactly does it work? That's confusing. Not that much of an expert in any way of beliefs, I think. And let's see what we find out about what's this? Get the shrine off. Oh. Who are you? You also have awful. Ah, that's sure enough we're back. Okay. Servant of Vivek. I appear at my lord's behest. Or perhaps I was always here, and you merely lacked the ability to see me. Ah, interesting. Disciple Sildras is wondering if why the tribu tribunal is silent. Actions carry conviction better than words. A skilled poet arranges for others to be where they should be, when they should be, to fulfill his needs and desires. Yet the question Sildras asked was not the one in his heart. What was the question in his heart? A man of poisoned words put doubt in Sildras' heart. He said the poet is less than he once was. Tell the disciple that Vivek's words and wit and way of war are as keen as always. What is Vivek beyond these? Uh, who is Vivek anyway? Vivek is a warrior poet, the ruthless and elegant soul of his people. 
He guides and protects all. Sharp of eye and tongue is he. Long is his reach. Longer is his spear. How can this question be on the lips of anyone in Morrowind? But we're not in Morrowind. And about the length of his spear. I don't know why all of this is kind of like this here in this area. I don't, I don't, first we talk about comparing swords and the length of swords. Then we stumble into this uh, inn with the night flowers that bring a lot of hmm, interesting pleasures. Now we're talking about Vivek's spear, spear, spear. I, I, I don't know. That confuses me greatly. You seem surprised, I asked. The sermons of Vivek are beside every bed. Vivek's psalms are sighed from every maiden's lips. His wisdom makes his people as hard, capable, and enduring as the poet himself. All know Vivek, for Vivek would have it so. Okay, okay. I don't know. Uh, that's all kind of crazy. Um, I wonder, like, it's really an interesting question. Uh, your country's at war, your people are dying, and you have three living gods that are so powerful. That they could wipe away all those invading armies, I guess, with a snip of their fingers. But they don't care at all, they don't do anything, so... That's interesting, because if you have living gods, you would ex uh, expect them to... Just, uh... Be like, uh, the one thing in a war that gives you the whole advantage over everything. Why don't they care? Why do they just take care of their own shit and... Leave their people to themselves and, uh, to their wars and stuff about, uh taking any care of it? I wonder. It's uh, an interesting question. I mean, we are guardians of only the hills trees and they're not that good in a fight, I guess, because it's a tree. But uh, anyway, those people, they have the gods, but they're also not much good because they don't care. So I don't know what's better. At least the hills has an excuse for not caring. I mean, anyway, it's still uh, a tree. So, I wouldn't be mad at the hills for not uh, getting up and fighting for us. But I wonder about living gods not doing anything for their people. Am I am I her heretic here? Is it heresy to, to say something like this? I guess it is. But I'm an Agonian after all, so I don't much care for the gods of the Dunmer after all. Hmm. Let's see, Anorexia, the last of the three. Was someone attracted uh, Alet to uh, attack the shrines? My lady Omalexia bids you carry a message to disciple Sildras. Ah, she already knows what's going on here. What is this message? The tribunal does not abandon their people. Just as a parent shelters children from dangers they cannot comprehend, the three shelter the Dunmer from threats beyond their ken. Is there anything more? Tell him that my lady is mindful of his doubt and fear. There is no shame in either, so long as he helps others bear their burdens. By helping others, his fears will be allayed. But if he spreads his despair, my lady will chastise him. Bless him, Alexia. Ah, you are the child whose soul was stolen. My lady is concerned for you. Amalexia is the merciful healing mother of the Dunma. She is the most beloved of the tribunal. That can't be all. I am merely a servant and messenger of my lady, not a teacher or priest. Seek the temples and libraries to learn more. Perhaps in time, you may speak to Amalexia herself. Interesting. So, we have like those three gods. Okay, we got the messages. So basically, so the seal seemed like he's not caring at all, but on the other side, his uh, servant said uh, that he knows that everyone has to play his role and he knows how strong or weak the gears are. So he basically knows what he can uh, ask them to suffer through or to go through because he knows that they are strong enough to, to, to get over it. And then we have um, Alexia that is always ever concerned and protecting, but you don't see anything much of her protectiveness. And then you have the warrior poet Vivek that is so 
seems to be more interested in himself and his and his stand in the people's minds and uh, stuff than uh, anything else. So his his appeal is everything for him. That's uh, pretty interesting to me. So now we talk to all of them and uh, we get the messages to this guy, I guess. Never uh, actually looked behind the temple. It looks so much bigger than inside for some reason. Inside it's a small room and outside it's like so huge. Anything behind it? Maybe a chest, some treasure or something? Something for a lizard like me? A nice view. That's something, I guess. Why is it the buildings are always so small inside but so big outside? Let's see if we can help restore his faith. I can feel the blessings upon you. It's a power I've not felt myself for many years. I am to comfort you. Um, Alexia protects us. She relies on you to aid her children. I, I see. I hadn't considered there might be threats more grave than the Covenant invasion. You would think, given all we know of the treachery of Cold Harbor, that I would see that. What of Sotha Seal? His messenger said he knows you are strong enough to bear your tasks. I am ashamed. The three have shown more faith in me than I have in them. I dread asking this, but what of Lord Vivek? He said not to worry about your true concern that he is not what he once was. Ha! Huh. Yes, I should have known. Vivek is the most subtle of the three. It's true. I've been counseling a Dunmer who questions his faith. He told me the tribunal are losing their powers. Did the Stark Elf have any proof? Only indirectly. We see the three less every year. They no longer make their annual pilgrimage to Red Mounting on Vardenfell, and no one knows why. It all seems so convincing when he said it. What is the Stark Elf's name? By any chance we maybe know it? His name is Ravil Urano. Ha. Huh. He hasn't come to pray for days now. He was in such despair. I think he'd even stopped bathing. The last time I saw him, he smelled terrible, like fresh offal. Interesting. The beasts surrounding the shrines were drawn there by piles of offal. What? Have I been a fool? I questioned my faith for the flimsiest of reasons and caused others to question theirs. I have much to do to correct my failure. I wish I knew why Ravil Urano's doubting words were so compelling. Hmm, because he's, uh, he's knowing what he does. I fear I've done terrible harm to the morale of my people in Ebonheart. I'll do all I can to convince them to work with House Drez. They've been constant in their defense against the Covenant invaders. I hope you do. So, we helped the Agonians, we helped the, uh, the, 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 the Dunmer, and we helped the Nord. So, we are friends now again, I think. Let's go to the stress guy that uh, first sent us on our... We never even talked about our task with him anyway. But uh, let's tell him that we were successful with our task that he doesn't give us. Lalu house entrance? To his house? What? This house has different entrances for... Veteran house entrance. <laughs> Interesting. So this house has different entrances depending on which uh, house you are from. And they're all lit here. That's interesting. Ooh, is this goblins? Goblin slave. Oh, okay. Traveler, how goes your survey of Zabamat? Have you found High Tide Hollow as yet? What is High Tide Hollow? High Tide is the Ashlander name for an old cave. It's just crawling with beast men. A perfectly excellent resource. You'll find it on the coast almost due west of here, beyond Vivek's antlers. How is this cave for resource? A resource for slave chattel, of course. Goblins take quite a lot of educating before they come around. It's worth it, though. They're a highly valued commodity. I once sold a whole tribe to a vizier in High Rock. Made a prince's ransom in coin. Okay. So instead of uh, trading in Argonians, we're now trading in goblins? I don't much like it. I must warn you. I'm an Foul mood. Yeah, I can clearly see that. So, what's going on here? Have our town's fortunes improved? All of Ebonheart is ready to defend the city. That's a great relief. 
Well done. The Covenant troops haven't left their encampment to the west, but it's only a matter of time before our inactivity encourages them. A dark elf named Ravaluano was somehow involved each time. I don't know this, Mur. Why would he cause so much trouble? Perhaps he's an agent of Shea Gorath. That's an unpleasant thought. The Daedra of Chaos is worse than any mere Covenant army. Can you aid me further? Or maybe he's a spy or a traitor to the Covenant? Ever thought of this instead of thinking of Daedra and Gods all the time? Perhaps. What would you like me to do? Ravil must have a house in town. I'd like you to find it and watch him. I'd like to see myself, but I'm sure he'll recognize me. So I'll need to cast a spell on you. What kind of spell? Commoners would call it a scrying spell. But I'm beyond such crude hedge magic. It will enable me to see and hear what you do. Furthermore, I'll be able to speak to you. Uh, I don't like this much. It's a bit unpleasant, but okay, go on. Search for Ravil's home. I expect it's on the west side of town. Mm, we know already where it is. You should be able to hear me now. That's scary. I don't like voices in my head. Ah, hey, our friends. Vivek, guide your steps, soldier. I'll go to war. We're holding them. In some places, we're barely holding on, but we're holding them. But I wish I hadn't invoked the Brother of Strife. You regret summon summoning Borat? I do. I wish I hadn't been needed here. I should have aided the effort at Ash Mountain. The brothers depend on old magic from another time. They have no place in Stone Falls today. Good thing you recognized us. Bit late though. Troll's blood, I was hoping you'd show up here. What's going on, Hogan? Kain blessed us with a victory at Ash Mountain. But we're still fighting those milk-drinking Covenant bastards. West of us, they've locked horns with Vivek's antlers. And I've heard rumors. Rumors? A scout from the northwest border made it to the city, bloody and bruised. He said a force was marching on Fort Virak. If they take Virak, they're on the doorstep of Riften, up in Skyrim. Those dagger bastards. To sovereign guard with a lot of them. Interesting rumors. Not good rumors, though. What about you? Welcome in the name of the three. How do you like Ebonheart? It's so nice. Are you fond of Ebonheart, Garen? I spent much of my childhood here, living with my mother's family. Some of my fondest memories are of playing with my father on the shore of the bay. I learned to fight with the troops in the square. Do you know how to how the recovery of what is going? In the wake of Baldur's rampage, it goes well. Seni will be rebuilt, and ash from the volcano will actually help the farms, at least in the long run. It's been hard, but Dane Seath will prosper. It's so nice for a for Sun me. on my scales. Welcome. You have seen my cousins in the Argonian Quarter, I hope. Does the district suit you? Are you asking if we're comfortable? None of us are comfortable outside Black Marsh. Too dry, too open, too bright. Still, at the moment, we're treated well and the history will soon be cleansed. How are you dealing with your new position? Before I was here, I cared about the rain only when it fell on my tribe. Now I must worry about stone falls and this pact. The reeds can bend to the wind, but I must not. Two words, I guess. So, dear friends, um, this uh, would be a place where. Uh... Can't you see that I'm furious? Yeah. Okay. So this would be the place where I, um, I have to say goodbye for today. It was a pleasure as always. If you uh, liked the episode, I would be happy if you consider liking it, sharing it, tell your friends all about it, uh, subscribe maybe to the channel, get some people to subscribe. In the worst case, uh, I don't know, tell them that you're stealing their cookies if they don't. And yeah, I hope to see you back in the next episode. Thank you very much for sticking around. Thank you very much for all your support and uh, until next time, bye bye.